Okay, how do I avoid making one or two silly mistakes on the SAT math section? This is actually really similar to what we just talked about for reading. The first question was about what to do when I get too wrong in reading, and we had some points to make there. This one's about math. So a lot of things we talked about with reading apply here in terms of checking your answers, uh, circling questions that give you trouble, being more efficient, all that good stuff. Um, you know, it really comes down to specific questions when, for, for math in particular, in terms of avoiding mistakes. Other things that I would add though, just as a general tip would be try different methods. So if I'm working on a tough problem and I wanna make sure I did my answer right, if I know of another way to try the problem, I'll try it that way. And if I get the same answer doing it two different ways, I mean, 99.9% .9 of the time I've done it right. Uh, another thing to do would be plug in your answer. So once you get an answer, test it. This is obvious when you solve for X, plug it into the equation, see if it works, but it can work in other cases. So plug in your answer as into the problem and see if it's consistent. And if it is, again, 99.9% .9 of the time, you probably did it right. Another thing would be what's reasonable and what's not, or estimation. This really helps a lot on percent questions. So. For example, if you're trying to get the percent of a number and you end up with a number that's bigger than the original, that doesn't make sense because a percent, if it's like 15%, should be smaller, should get you a number that's smaller than the original. So knowing what answers should be reasonable, estimating around what the answer should be based on the numbers in the problem, if you get something wildly different from what you expect, that's perhaps a sign that you made a mistake. So that would be three things I would say. Again, the same thing applies with the reading where there's always natural variance. Luck will come into play. Some days you'll get four wrong. Some days you'll get three wrong. Some days you'll get none wrong. Sometimes you'll get one wrong and then two wrong. And so there's a lot of variance just based on luck and the difficulty of the test and things like that. Uh, so all you can do is get good habits to try to shift what's normal for you. The normal range shift it closer and closer to perfection. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com slash enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.